Yo, what's up? What's percolating YouTube? I'm the internet. Hi, it's your boy Paul Cantu, and I'm back at you guys with the 25 days of Thriftmas, I guess, even though this is just a uh, Thriftmas where I'm basically dropping a bunch of videos before Christmas time, and they're all gonna be vintage and or thrift related. So first and foremost, you guys already know what time it is. I have to shout out the Sus Squad. Um, you guys surprisingly were mildly appropriate in the comment section of my last video. But one comment that got a ton of likes was by that boy Sunny BBC, Ooh. whose name is just inappropriate, but you dig what I'm saying? How you gonna mislabel yourself? Uh, he said need kinky in the next video. That shit got 57 likes, and I have to inform you that me and the Kinks did actually shoot a video together, so that is dropping very, very soon. But um, also, what is dropping right now before your very eyes is a um, giant parcel unboxing. I have a ton of mail from my birthday, which was October 3rd, um, and that were pickups from eBay from probably September until now that I haven't unboxed. So yeah, I have a plethora of packages, and also I have a fat stack of envelopes as well. So yeah, we have a ton of mail to actually get into today, so uh, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so um, actually before we get into the mail, quick announcement, shout out my sponsor, FirmuGlasses.com. Actually, it's just Firmu.com. They have a bunch of different prescription glasses. Um, that's where I got these little classy tings from, you know, that black and gold color scheme. Mwah, makes me look edumacated. But uh, yeah, you guys can get like transition lenses, prescription lenses, all that good jazz. And these I think were 20 bucks and most of the time they have a buy one, get one free option. This is my preferred go-to place for glasses, so go get a prescription and save less, look fresh on the glasses if you're a blind motherfucker such as myself. But um, yeah, this first parcel, I think, yeah, it says it's off eBay. It's in this tiny box, so I'm not sure what this beholdeth. It has been like forever since I made these purchases and acquisitions on eBay, so uh, this is gonna be a surprise. Ha! Boom, baby! Boom, Boom baby. baby! All right, man, so I just cracked the uh, lid on this guy right here, and the piece that I got, oh, I forgot I got this. Yo, that heat, bro. Yo, I dead ass forgot I got this. I got that Chicago Bulls starter jersey with the pinstriping and piping. Dude, these jerseys look so freaking clean on body. It is stupid. <laughs> So I had to grab this piece right here. Chicago Bulls with the patchwork. It got that starter logo. I'm a motherfucking star boy. I'm a motherfucking star boy. On the sleeve. And then it also has Bulls all embroidered on the back. Dude, this piece looks so clean. Okay, fuck. I gotta throw it on real quick, man. Oh, snap. Wait, hold up. Yo. Yo. Okay, getting into the next package right now. Um, Bruh, that's why I let these these videos just marinate and these packages just chill unopened because once I open them, I get so damn enthused, ecstatic, and excited. Oh, you saw me rip that? Okay, what is this? Oh, this might be a birthday. Yeah, this definitely, oh no it's not. Bro, I forgot I got this too. Yo, this is all I see when I open the package are just these beautiful blue eyes staring at me. This dude looking like damn Thor in this bitch. But <laughs> let me reveal. Bruh! Uh, right in your village. Uh, very soon you got the Minnesota Vikings. Call like Minnesota. Call like Minnesota. Yo! Freaking jacket right here. Ooh. It is a little bit dirty on the front. It got the Vikings insignia on one tit high, and then on the other titty, nothing. You also have the insignia on the sleeve right there in that big bird yellow color scheme. And then on the back, of course, you do have the motherfuckers about to pillage your damn village. Bro, I forgot I got these awesome pieces. Like, this jacket is so heat. I definitely do want to rock it one time for the one time. My outfit is getting absolutely ridiculous. You dig what I'm saying, but this jacket is hard though, boy. Okay, so I'm definitely pleased with my purchases thus far. Um, this package I actually did open for SneakerCon Houston, which was amazing by the way. Also, 
self promo real quick. This jacket actually is a size small. I don't usually like showing off my wrist unless I got a rollie on them. So uh, yeah, if you guys need any vintage gear, a lot of stuff is dropping for the holiday seasons in December on thriftypeinvintage.com. Bless yourself. Nevertheless, I got this package and I did open it for SneakerCon Houston. A lot of you guys pulled up and showed love, so I appreciate y'all. That video also is dropping soon. But I got this Houston Oilers script snapback in clean, pristine condition. It goes with the Cactus Jack 4s and it also is representing my city. Oh my god, this thing fits in his lady. This hat is very clean. The inside, of course, is cocaine white. You have that AstroTurf green under brim. It is a sports specialties script. And these scripts are actually very rare. And they do go for quite a pretty penny. So yeah, this was definitely a sick pickup. It's 23 bucks. And these go for like 70 up. Um, over here in the city of Houston, and I have never seen one in this clean condition. So hell yeah, fucks with your boy. Fuck with me. Now this other package I have in hand is uh, something that I've recently gotten into, and I have to say that I love my decision to do so. Um, plushes. That is right. Ever since my road trip from SneakerCon Atlanta all the way to Rhode Island, I've been copying a ton of plushes at any opportunity I get. My homeboy Matt, aka one subject on Instagram, wanted a Kermit plush, so. Oh, I had to do my damn thing and cop one myself. Now, I asked a lot of you guys um, to actually DM me if y'all had one available because I am looking to cop a bunch of Kermit plushes. Someone did DM me and I lost you in the DMs. Slide back in my DM, bro. I get too many messages sometimes. But um, yeah, this Kermit is so fly, dude. He has a little bird hanging from a string that he can tuck into his overalls, even though I just failed at that attempt in doing so. Um, he also has on this nice little sun hat in the blue color scheme. He has on like a vegetable encrusted shirt. And this is from 1993, so homeboy is actually as old as me. And I noticed some of you young as I might seem like an old head, but hey, it's all good regardless. But yeah, man, just look at little homie. He definitely is cute, compact, and fly. His skin texture is amazing, immaculate condition. Look at them eyes. Oh my God, what you looking at, bruh? But yeah, man, I had to go ahead and pull the trigger on this Kermit. I think he was like 20 bucks, so fuck with me again. Fuck with me. Um, <laughs> we got another package right here. Um, almost just penetrated this jacket, but we got another fly fucking jacket. We got that Fanimation Cincinnati Bengals Sheer Khan Tony the Tiger. Just look at how beastie this jacket is. Okay, yeah. This is staying in the personal collection for a hot second um, because this is fly. It also is my size. But this thing is just draped and dripping. It's that uh, Chester Cheeto orange color scheme with that black straight up Jack o Lantern Halloween vibes all day. You got the little tiger paws ripping through the sleeves. It says bangles on both sleeves. And then on the back, big ass tiger, bro. Big ass tiger. So yeah, I'm very satisfied with this piece. It's so comfy as well. And it will go with my um, custom Air Monarchs that I did. But yeah, man, this piece is just attention grabbing and that little hit of green in the eye. Mwah. Perfection that you guys can throw in like some green accents on outfits and have this thing really popping to perfection. So yeah, my eBay decisions are good as hell, bro. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, keep it up. Mr. Related Garments. I feel like this is someone who just sent me some shit like as a fan. Oh, no, it's not. These are underwear. Ah. Yo, so I forgot this company just sent me um draws. <laughs> what? They come in these crazy um high fashion packages. They send me draws and sock combos. So you already know, man. Got them Gucci draws right there, boy. Oh, my dick gonna be looking right. Oh, um, sheesh. You also got the little like 90s vibed TV, like static looking draws right there, boy. Man, I'll be showing off my waistband like a boss. I'm gonna be rocking crop tops to show off these draw waistbands. Um, they also came with the matching socks, and these socks definitely are like crazy looking. So yeah, I'll put the link to them in the description, bro, if you guys wanna check that out. But um, they're not paying me, so y'all don't gotta check it out if you don't want to. Um, <laughs> I also uh, got the motherfucking cheetah print draws. These are honestly ugly as hell, but cheetah print is my favorite color, so um, I gotta put on, you dig? Now, um, getting into the next two packages, one of these my mama sent me. Oh, you saw that catch uh, for my birthday? 
and this is straight out of China. <laughs> So I'm very curious about the quality on this guy right here. I saw a dude at an art museum rocking this shirt and it really inspired me to get it. Um, it is this Picasso Bulls tee. And this, oh my God, the quality on this is straight up ass. Like, wow. Whatever, fuck it. It's still funny though. It is what it is. Um, and then this last piece right here, I think my sister might have got me this. I don't know, man. It's from Amazon, so I'm just gonna open it and see what's up. Hold up. Yeah! Okay, so basically what these are are, um, God, I can't think of what they're called. They're, um, clicking belts. They're not on rivets, but they're like belts that just adjust to your size. Oh, God, I can't think of the word for this, and it's really gonna bother me. Um, they just call them click belts. There's a word for this. I know you guys know it and you're gonna comment it down below. Oh, it's a ratchet. It's on a ratcheting system. Shout out all my ratchets. So yeah, like the bell just glides and slides on its ratchet. I got a brown one and a black one. So shout out my sister for keeping my pants above my waistline, which is counterintuitive to me wanting to show off my underwear waistbands. So it's like, I don't know, like two different universes are colliding, but it's the yin and the yang of the underwear and pants section. So shout out my sister. And shout out you guys. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I guess it just shows where my mind frame is when asking for birthday gifts slash going on eBay. Um, it's kind of all over the place, but overall, everything I got is fucking fire. So yeah, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I love y'all, and I'll catch y'all very soon with Kinky and a motherfucking trip to the thrift. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.